Greetings, friend. It's great to be coming with you again today. I want to talk to you today about where is the Lord God of Elijah? That's found in 2 Kings chapter 2, and I wanted to uh, share with you from verse number 9. Uh, Elisha had followed Elijah around everywhere he went. Even two places he went before he was taken up in the whirlwind, he went with him and stayed right with him. And Elijah told him, if you'll stay with me, then you can see the glory of God, and it will be fulfilled for that double portion. And so I want to talk to you and, and quote that scripture to you from verse 9, 2 Kings, chapter 1, number 9. And it came to pass when they had gone over, the Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what shall I do for thee before I be taken away from thee? And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. That double portion was a sign of blessings and family when they had heard in things. And getting a double portion of God's spirit could be one of the greatest things that I believe we could ever happen. Folks, there's one thing we can think about. We've talked about great revivals we've had in the past. I've been an evangelist and had many great revivals. And we sometimes want to dwell on the past. But folks, I want to tell you what, we need to dwell on what's in the future. And God has power for all of us now that we can reach out and touch Him and do greater works than these because Jesus said, I go unto the Father. God help us all to realize that the anointing of God is up on every one of us and we can fulfill that promise. And just like Elijah and succeeding generations, uh, we need an endowment of that power from on high. Moses uh, transferred that power, God from, received it from Abraham. Moses then transferred it on to Joshua. And there in this scripture here, we find about how God had transferred Elijah's power to Elisha. In verse number 10, it says, and he said, Thou hast asked me a hard thing. That's a difficult thing to ask me to have a double portion of what I have in my life. He said, Nevertheless, if you see me when I'm taken, they it shall be so unto thee. But if not, it shall not be so. So that was a promise of God. Uh, if you will absolutely follow me all the way, and if you'll see me when I go up in that whirlwind into heaven, then you're going to receive that power. And it came to pass in verse number 11, as they went on and talked, and behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire that parted from both of them asunder. And Elijah went up in a whirlwind into heaven. And Elisha spread what a great experience that was that he watched that and that demonstration of a heavenly chariot coming down and caught up in a whirlwind. And, and Elijah was overwhelmed and awesome. And that mantle fell off of uh, Elijah and Elisha picked it up. And he went over and picked up that mantle and smote the Jordan River and the waters parted immediately and he was able to walk over on dry ground. Folks, I want to tell you what, God is in the healing business today. The transfer of prophetic power was given to a great man, Elisha, to fulfill the will of God. Folks, I want to tell you, we have got a work to do. Those that are called to preach, we can't depend upon what happened many years ago. These things are all in the past. We've got to pick up the mantle, and we've got to move on and preach the Word of God like we've never been before. We have undergone a great pandemic, and revivals and special services have been uh, where they had not been able to be held because a lot of people could not go different places, and many churches were even shut down. It's time now that we reopen the Spirit of God and preach the message of Jesus Christ and see God do great and mighty things. Uh, the sons of the prophets weren't too good from Bethel because... They even admonished Elijah, let's go look for Elijah's body. Maybe we'll find him out there somewhere. But folks, I want to tell you, when God takes someone up to heaven, they don't come back again. They are forever there in heaven. And God blessed uh, that work of Elisha that he succeeded. Uh, 
being a prophet is not always an easy job, especially in the Old Testament. It was not an easy job. It come with a great deal of responsibility. I can remember Elijah at the top of Mount Carmel, a great responsibility, and then him running from God and, and was afraid of Jezebel. But then in this great scripture, it tells us that he was caught up in a whirlwind of heaven. There's only two people that have never died. That's, that's uh, one of them, Elijah. And another one is found in the Old Testament that talks about Enoch. And he was just caught up and no, no one knows where he went to. But folks, I want to tell you, hope this is a blessing to you. And I pray God's anointing will be up on you today. And may you follow God and preach his word and do what he wants you to do. For this is a day that the Lord has made. Thank you for listening to the broadcast today. God bless you today.